Hello and welcome to another painting video guys. Today we've got a 1986 Corvette in the paint booth. Color code WA8774 bright red. So um, I'm going to do a little something different with my videos rather than uh, list all the materials like I normally would. I'm just going to tell you what I used and then up in the upper left hand corner I'm going to put what step I'm on in the process that way if you guys want to skip ahead in the video at any point you'll know you'll have a better idea of what's going on you know so I'm gonna try that for a while and if you guys like it let me know and if you don't let me know anyways um, you know just trying to trying to kind of change things up and improve my videos somehow you know some way or other just kind of thinking of ways I can uh, better my videos I don't have a lot of time to edit so I'm either at work or, uh, you know, I've got a family to take care of. So, anyways, uh, for materials for this vehicle, uh, it's all PPG products. The sealer is the DAS sealer. It's a light gray sealer that I tinted with the base coat color red um, just to help out that red to get it to full coverage better. Um, and the base coat is DBC base coat. Uh, super super user friendly stuff to work with. I highly recommend it. And the clear coat is the DC 4000 for this particular job. It's the DC 4000, which is an overall clear. Um, as far as number of coats go, uh, you can see I've got it now up on the screen. The sealer gets one coat, base coat gets three coats, and clear coat gets two coats. My gun setup is pretty much the same as usual. Uh, I've got the Iwata LPH 400 in the booth with me. It's my only gun so yeah. Um, <clears throat> my uh, fan is one and a half turns in. My fluid is two and a half turns out and for sealer I run right around 29 PSI. For base coat uh, same same settings on the fluid and the fan. I just run about 25 PSI usually. And uh, clear coat, once again, same settings for the fan and the fluid. Uh, I usually run between 29 and 31 PSI. I did this project at 29 PSI and I actually think I like 29 over the 31. I've, I've been running 31 PSI if you've watched my other videos. And I can get a really nice finish, but I think I think that 29 is really the sweet spot for this gun and for my spray style. It it just works so well, and uh, you can see the the finished result. Uh, of course, if you skip ahead to the end of the video, I do a quick walk around. Uh, but I just like the finish that I get that I can get from the uh, 29 psi. So. Uh, there were no problems on the sealer part of this job. Uh, everything went well there. So it took a while to, it took me most, the majority of a day to get this thing sprayed. Um, like I said, I'm real adamant about doing three coats of base coat, making sure I get everywhere I possibly can. Other than that, um, I did my three coats of base. I took lunch break. I came back because I knew I was going to have to do some wet sanding. The uh, left, the driver's side quarter panel, panel where it rolls up to that flat area on the back got hit pretty hard with some dust. So after lunch I came back and took some thousand grit and some wax and grease remover and uh, sanded that down. So uh, there it is. Hope you guys like this. I'm going to shut up now so you guys can enjoy some paint work. I know this is a longer video, but I just kind of wanted to let it roll out, you know, let the video go on uh, so you guys can see uh, how an overall paint job is, is laid out. Uh, or if you're new to painting and you're interested in seeing how it's done, uh, here you go. So. Thanks, guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace.
Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. 